Hi there, Tina here from Miss Daisy Patterns. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make, ta-da, this. It's my version of a Day of the Dead top hat. It's completely made out of felt, uh, hand sewn, so quite simple to put together, and you can embellish it in any way that you want. I've put a skull on, a spider, a hand rolled rose and some feathers. Now the pattern for this is free to download from my website. If you're interested in making this project, pop over there, download the pattern, print it out and follow me on into the tutorial. See you there. Right, so we have the pattern and what else we're going to need with this is we're going to need some craft filler, some felt. Now I just have a roll of regular acrylic felt here. Um, you're also going to need a strip of red felt and I've left the dimensions for that in the description box below. Some feathers, a headband, a skull, spider, glue gun with glue sticks and some embroidery floss, thread, thread, a needle, pins and the scissors. So that's pretty much everything covered. Now rather than waiting and going all the way through cutting this, I've got these already prepared. Now the most important bit about this section is this part of the pattern. You have to make sure that you actually cut it on the fold. So basically you fold the fabric in half, you place this pattern down and when you cut it on the fold, it opens up double sized. So it's literally double width of the pattern, right? So, okay. The next thing you'll need is the pattern has a smaller circle and a bigger circle. The bigger circle section, you need to cut by two and the smaller section, um, you just need to cut that by one. Right, so what you have now is you've got your rectangle of felt, your circle, smaller circle and larger two felt, two, two larger circles, basically, right. Now to start assembling the hat, what we need to do now is you line up this against the circle and we're going to be doing a whip stitch all the way around. Now I'm doing this with the embroidery floss, two strands of it and I'm starting with a knot at the end of the thread. So literally you just line it up. Now because felt can stretch quite a bit as you're doing this and working around the circle, sometimes you might find that you'll either be, it'll either perfectly join up at the end of the circle or it may not. It depends on how much stretch you give it. So if there's a question that it actually overshoots a little bit, all you need to do is trim off that edge. And this is purely because felt has got quite a bit of stretch in it. Well, this particular felt has got quite a bit of stretch in it. So you can just trim that off and then continue sewing down. So you've done the circle, you've lined up the sides and you're sewing right the way down. So essentially you're going to be making like a, 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 a cylinder is essentially what it is. A soft cylinder at the present moment that's quite flat. It. So what you do is do a couple of stitches on top of each other to finish and then you can just snip off the thread. Right, so that's that. Now I like to just make sure that I run my finger around it and make sure that everything is nice and firm. And also the length, the, the back where you actually stitched all the way down, you need to kind of smooth that out a bit. Now the next step, step is we need to pop in the craft filler. Right, and this it keeps the shape of the top of the hat. That's what that's basically what the craft filler is for. It's just to keep the shape of the top of the hat. That's it. Right. Now, so that's that section done. You can see now it stands and it holds its shape. Right now, we just need to take one of the circles of the larger circles of felt at the moment, and you position the sm that that hat the top shape into the centre of that circle. And once you're happy with the positioning of it, what you need to do then is pin it in place. So just three, four pins, actually four pins will be fine, just on, on each of the sides. So it's like on the cardinal points really is what you're doing. Right? And once you're happy that it's in the center and it is, you've got a perfect brim all the way around, um, you're going to be stitching this into place. Right, so again, using two strands of the embroidery thread floss, um, just do a whip stitch 
and your whip stitch applique in literally the top to the brim. So that's what you're doing. And you can be removing the pins as you're going. Now this does take a bit of manoeuvring, so just take your time with it. Right, so that's that. Almost finished, yeah. And to finish, just do a couple of back stitches over the needle, over the actual felt itself, over the finishing stitch, and then snip off the thread, and that section is done. Right, so that is, now at the present moment, the base of that, the brim of the hat now is actually quite floppy, which is why you now have the second circle to go over that. And that gives it more um, definition and more shape. So you pop that on and to go around the brim, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a blanket stitch. And the reason why I'm doing a blanket stitch is it's actually a stronger stitch and it'll hold the shape all the way around. Right, now all I'm going to link um, descriptions of how to actually do each of these stitches in the box below. So if you need, if you don't know how to do a blanket stitch, the link to talk you through it will actually be in the box below. Again, I'm using the black embroidery floss and blanket stitching literally around the circumference of the hat. It's a nice stitch, it's a, it's a nice stitch, it's a nice firm stitch. And you can also do this in a different colour if you want. If you want to highlight this in red, you could easily stitch it in red, in white. It's, again, you can use, use your imagination with what you want to do with it here. Right, now, as you see here, what happens is the final thing is I don't necessarily want the two bigger circles to separate just like I had done there. So what I do is around the actual base of the top hat into the brim, I do a running stitch. And that running stitch basically joins the two pieces of the larger felt together. You can actually see the detail. It, it just it gives extra security. And also I'll actually be attaching a headband into that section. So I want it to be nice and secure. So just leaving the needle in there. Now the next step is to, uh, we need to look at the embellishments. Here I'm, I used feathers, skull, and basically I have the hot glue going on because we need it nice and hot so that everything will stick pretty easily. Right, but the one last thing that you have to do now, now you can buy a rose, you can buy flowers um, if you want to, but I usually just wrap a really easy one. Now to wrap it, very simply what you do is you fold it away from yourself and then tightly roll into the into the actual point where the, the line where the actual fold has ended and then do a quick stitch. And then literally you turn it away and wrap. You fold and wrap. Fold it away from yourself and wrap. Now, when you usually do two or three of these, it's a good idea to turn it over, put a few stitches in place to secure it. Okay, so and uh, you're going to continue this folding and wrapping. So you fold away from yourself and you turn. Fold away from yourself and turn. Now, you will be using, you're kind of holding it, the shape of the flower in your hand as you're going. So it's a fold and turn. Fold away from yourself and turn. And when you feel that there's maybe a little bit too much fabric and it's you could lose grip of it, put a few stitches into it. That'll hold it in place. You do it maybe every four, three, four turns. So fold and turn, fold and turn, fold away from yourself and turn, fold and turn. And you can see the shape of the flower um, developing. This is quite, um, it's quite flat because I'm pushing it down as I'm folding and turning. Right, so that's it there. And the last section, you can just actually just sew it into place. Right, so that's, I like to do quite a good few stitches through all of the different folds, just so as that it doesn't unravel from the front. Right, that's a few more. Also, this can be done with any length of um, felt. It can be done with ribbon. Uh, it doesn't. 
it can be done with a wider felt if you want to. So it's, it's entirely up to the type of flower you want at the end of this. Also, you can just buy a flower too and pop that on. Right, I'd say that's enough stitching. Yeah, perfect. Great. And now we just need to assemble. So I like to keep the line of stitching on the hat to the back. And then what I'll do is I'll actually put all the embellishments on the left hand side. Or right hand side. It's entirely up to you. Right, so glue gone. So just put a great big dab of glue so that it binds all of the feathers together. And great. You just, and then just pop that on to the side of the hat. Again, being careful because glue gun could be quite hot. And then spider glued onto the rose. And then we're going to take the, once that's dried, you need to leave it to dry for a little bit, just put the rose onto the hat. You can never have enough hot glue, just to make sure it sticks for definite. Right, so that's that bit. And then finally the skull is going to be glued on. And again, this is, you can embellish in any way that you want. This is, these were just pieces that I had um, in my craft room so you can add more roses you could add different color flowers it doesn't have to be feathers you could you could even maybe even if you wanted to embroider the front of the hat it's entirely up to yourself right so that's once that's all on the final thing so as I can actually put it on my head is we need to attach a headband now this was a regular headband I got it just in a in a store and then just stitch that in place. Right, so that's stitched in place. Now if you want, you can run two or three lines of stitching back and forward. Depends on how secure you want it to be. Um, I'm happy to just go with the one Right, so that is the hat finished. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, bye bye.